What's up guys, it's Feder with 3D Print SOS. Today, we're gonna be unboxing the Vox Lab Aquila 3D Printer. I'm gonna show you what's in there. I'm gonna assemble it really quickly and I'm gonna do a test print right out of the box. All right, so you guys are gonna get to see how good of a value this printer really is at the moment. All right, let's get down to the table and I'll show you. All right, so let's do the unboxing. Um, I'm going to try to talk the uh, entire time just to describe what I'm seeing and all the parts that I'm pulling out. I just to get a good idea of what's in here. Um, all right, so let's see. On the very top, it talks to you about the switch that's on the power supply. It's likely uh, to wherever you got it delivered in that region, it will be set to the right setting, but you might want to look over it. All right, let's take off this foam. And right on the top here, we have a uh, sample filament, some zip ties with the manual and assembly, I'm assuming. My bed is a little loose here, but let me try to show you what's in here. Very nicely packed, nothing's moving. Looks like my bed is completely unattached, but it was held with the foam. It looks to be in perfect shape, so no worries there. I do have some loose things laying in here. One of the bed uh, nuts came off, and the bed clips, that would explain why the bed wasn't on. Maybe it's supposed to be like that, I'm not sure. All right, so we got the extruder assembly, and the X uh, motor. Nice. I like that we don't have to assemble that. This is the spool holder. We have the screen um, bracket. Uh, and a screen. This really is kind of the star of the show for this printer, really. Um, it just It's just so easy to use. The colors are really nice. Um, I love that they themed this portion of this printer. This really sets them aside. It's not just a direct clone, which is very nice. Um, yeah, I like that it's all self-enclosed. There's nothing back here. Like my old Ender, you had to print something to cover up the circuitry. So that's, that's great. Got some extrusions. Looks like we got the X axis here and the gantry, little 2020s. Here is the hot end and it's attached to the entire chassis here. So let me take this out. Held in really well, very sturdy. All right, and this is the bulk of the printer. If we, if we flip it over here, this is the power supply and this is where the motherboard is that controls the entire printer. Let's set that right there for y'all. All right, and that's this part of the foam. The other portion of the spool holder, we got the power cable, uh, the wheels that slide on the X, I mean on the Z. We have a cover, looks like, with a, a switch in it, a tensioner, a 2040 extrusion with a, oh, this is the Z uh, limit switch. And here's probably the other side of that. Yep. Oh, it looks like the screw is inside. That's smart packaging right there. Cool. The Z stepper motor. All right, we got the stepper, SD card, uh, needle, uh, and nozzle. And we have all of the hardware labeled in separate uh, in separate um, zip locks, very nice. And finally we have the tools. We have a scraper, be careful with the glass bed with a scraper, and everything you need to assemble it. Now, one thing I do wanna note is, if, you're, if this is, especially if this is your first printer, um, you might want to grab uh, a set of these side cutters. They're very helpful for snipping um, filaments, they're very helpful for 
uh, finishing filaments, especially if you uh, print with a brim. These things are great. I'm actually kind of surprised that VoxLab didn't include this in the box. Uh, VoxLab, if you guys are watching this video, I would highly recommend in one of the next um, uh, sets that you guys um, put together to include those. This printer is going to be a lot of people's first printer and I think that that's a really nice tool uh, to have along with your first printer. There's even memes about this online where uh, when those things break it's time to buy another printer so you can get one. Um, yeah, but otherwise, that's it for the unboxing portion. Uh, it's boxed in really well, and there isn't that many parts really. If this is your first printer, um, you know, there's an assembly video already online that uh, you guys should follow along. What I'm going to do here is I'll record me putting this together, but I'll, I'll, I'll uh, speed it up because um, I, I doubt I'll be able to add any new information just by me assembling it. But we'll go over it after it's all together. So I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, there it is, it's assembled, ready to go, let's go ahead and do the peel, I'm going to try to do this one handed, it's a little bit shaky cam, it's got a real good stick. Oh yeah, always nice. Alright, let's start it up for the first time. And we got power. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to level it real quick with a piece of paper. I'm going to clean this bed and I will start a print. Alright guys, the moment of truth. It's all assembled, heated, I leveled the bed. It's nice and clean. I purged some filament. You can see that uh, there was uh, red in there from the test. Uh, filament that they, they must have tested the factory. Let's go ahead and pop in that SD card All right, I know you probably won't see the screen too much, but uh, I'll go to print um, and for this one I want the toolbox so Let's hit the toolbox 
and let's see what it does. So right now it's going down the home. There it goes. And now we should start the print. Let's see what the temperature reading is saying. 60 out of 60, 199 out of 200. So as soon as that hot end reaches 200, it should go ahead and start printing. Let's see. I'll go ahead and uh, speed this up. There it goes. All right, let's see how that first layer is looking. First it does a little purge line. That's how they must have set it up from factory. Let's go ahead overhead here. Yeah, that's looking, that's looking like a perfectly good squish. Focus here, that'd be nice. All right, so far so good. This side looks like it's a slightly worse than the back side in terms of leveling. But there you go, first print right out of the box. All I did was load in some gold filament that I had, gold silk filament. Um, it's printing at 200 on the nozzle and 60 on the bed. And uh, you know what, I'll set the tripod up and let it run for a few minutes, just so you guys see it get past the first um, layer here, and I'll get back. All right guys, so conclusion, very easy to set up packaged really well seems to be printing pretty much perfectly right from the start uh, just as expected um, you can hear wind noise but it's silent the menus are great this seems like one of the best bang for the bucks in printing that I've personally seen in the past three years um, there's been a lot of printers like bargain printers um, especially from Anet uh, that have been good deals but they often require some work and I'm finding that this one needs pretty much nothing um, you know a lot of times people are asking me hey what mods would I do I kind of respond with nothing um, until something is broken or unless something is broken I wouldn't even touch it on this printer everything just seems to work fine the thing that usually concerns me right away is the the cooling is from one side so the other side tends to suffer typically as it does on mother machines and, and other machines that I've, I've uh, run before but on this printer for some reason I'm not sure if it's just the way that it's set up or how small it is I can't pinpoint exactly but that it doesn't run into that problem uh, a couple of things to point let me go handheld here a couple of things to point out make sure that you tighten those eccentric nuts on the wheels that the bed slides on very important there's two of them on the bed and you can't have this thing wiggle so when this thing is set when you're setting this thing up make sure you tighten those not too much but just enough to so that the bed doesn't wiggle same goes for the three wheels on the hot end here the bottom one can be adjusted same goes for this same goes for that those can all all those wheels can be adjusted um, so that none of them are loose and that's going to get you a really really smooth print See what this is looking like. I know I just said I'm gonna let it sit um, so that you guys can see this, but I figured I might as well film the conclusion um, and then let it run for a little while so you can see the print. But um, yeah, that's pretty much my tip. Uh, the only other thing is there's these little blue clips um, that come in the box. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on, come on, camera. There we go. 
uh, these little blue clips, this is how you want to put them in. And this is going to keep these PTFE uh, tubes nice and tight. Uh, to get this one in, you do have to take this cover off, but luckily there, it's only held on by one screw. So that's really simple. So yeah guys, that's pretty much um, my opinion on this machine. I, I really enjoy it. This is actually the second machine that I bought. Um, and this is going to replace my Ender. I know that's saying a lot to some people. I do have the older version of the Ender. I've had it for three years. It's literally a flawless machine. Uh, but this is so close and has little things that are just better without any modifications. Um, and you, the fact that you can't hear it printing, all you hear is wind noise. Um, I'm really digging that. I love this little menu and that's probably the only thing I don't like about my Ender is the menu. Um, obviously you can get a new board, you can get a new screen and I've done that on my other machines and they're great. Um, but this is just, it's almost the same cost to get this entire printer as some of the mods that I have on the Ender, which is, um, you know, that just goes to show how good of a value this is. So definitely check this printer out. I'm not sure how much it costs at the moment. I believe it's back up to $200, but even at that price, it's just a steal, and I think more people should know about it. product Let's see if it pops right off yep pops right off look at these layer lines there aren't any first print right from the SD card nothing else changed enjoyed the video you guys know what to do if you found this helpful and you think someone else could use the tips and uh, find this helpful send them a link uh, check out my links in the description there's product um, suggestions in there uh, and other ways you can contact me till next time guys see you in the comments